Hello, moin moin and welcome to the Nordic Game News. My name is Jacob, I'm the program director at Nordic Game and I'm here to bring you news about the Nordic Game conferences and shows and also about the Nordic Games industry in general. Today is a great day because I have gathered some of, I could call it the cornerstone of the Nordic Game speaker program. Uh, especially when it comes to audio. As we all know, audio is a very important, if not the most important element of creating games. And that is why we are here to talk about this very special session that we do at the Nordic Game Conference each year. It's called Same Game, Different Music. And to explain a little bit about what that is and what we can expect from this year's edition, uh, please meet these very beautiful gentlemen. Hello, Thor, Thor, and Arno. How are you doing? Hey. I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm happy you are. I, I was wondering if we, we should just do a, a kind of an introduction round so that people uh, get a little bit inside information on how, who you are. Uh, so let's start with you then, Thor Myrdal number four number one I'm, uh, yeah i'm uh, <laughs> usually a freelance composer sound designer voice actor and the singer and i'm also the best director of this very same conference nordic game so um yeah i'm the annoying guy that you see in meetings usually <laughs> and um arnold's here that is uh in the bottom what is it oh, shit it's my left right <laughs> hey Arnold, can you please introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Arnold, uh, also a composer and uh, I'm a CEO of Capricia Productions, which is a gaming studio we started like seven, eight years ago, which was doing a metal album as a game and that released two years ago and now we're working on something new and unannounced. Um, yeah, that's me pretty much. Hmm, I'm going to talk to you about that later, I guess. But uh, Thor number two, you are new to this. Um, please uh, introduce yourself. Yes, uh, yeah, my name is Thor. Uh, I'm from Iceland, uh, but I as well. <laughs> live in Denmark at the moment. Uh, and I am a composer for Black Voyage Games. Currently working on a title right now called Lost in the Open. Very nice, and uh, happy to have you here. So let's uh, kick this off. Um, Thor, number one, uh, can you please uh, tell us what is Same Game, Different Music all about? Okay, um, I know the perfect person to explain that because he came up with that idea, Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Let's let's keep tossing the ball. And, uh, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's a concept that's been going around for, I think, like six 15, years right? now, or something like that. Since fifteen, right? Yeah, I th I think so. Yeah. Uh, and basically, the idea is we take uh, industry leading composers, usually, sometimes, you know, like well, composers, let's say, uh, in general. And we all take the same piece from a game. Sometimes it's a trailer, sometimes it's a gameplay. Usually it's around one minute long. Um, and we all compose uh, as we would for that minute. Uh, and then we, like, we don't see each other versions. We don't talk before. Uh, we just like do it as we would in the real world. We also let's call get it. just a very rudimentary brief. Like we don't get really like inside information. We don't talk with the developers, this kind of stuff. We literally just get the video. Yeah. That's it. You've got to work yeah. from that. Yeah. And we're just trying to do this as we would in the real world. And then in the panel itself, we show all the versions, uh, discuss it. Usually every composer explains why he did what he did, what was the considerations. And we see the effect that different music and sound have on a game. So you can basically see, you know, the same piece from a game, but a lot of variations for it and see how the feeling changes. And there's always the different stuff. Itself. Like we, we sometimes have same ideas, like we have st same like core principles in the, the writing process, so to say, and in like in ideas where we did something, but the versions are completely different usually, which is um, always like mind blowing for developers because they never think about, oh, 
like <laughs> it could go like something could go so like wide afar in directions so that is uh, one of the cornerstones why um i actually like that panel because it gives um a lot of people in the industry the insight what um like uh, how how much music is in a video game and how important it is to kind of kind of nail also really down what you want to have in the music it's not just a byproduct no so, actually yes, it's it was a, a brilliant idea yeah it is a brilliant idea <laughs> let's uh, underline that once again who came up with that oh yeah i know well, um, i don't know oh but from maybe me. um i have actually uh, uploaded the uh, last year's edition uh, to our youtube channel so if you're interested in uh, in taking a, a, a good look at what we did last year. It, it, it's right there, it's called MG22 Flashback, same game, different music. Um, so please take a look at it if you're, if you're interested and obviously uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it and remember to subscribe as well to the channel, right? I have to say that. Um, so looking back at some of the additions that we've done already, uh, do you have any kind of, um, anecdotes or highlights or something that you want to you want to bring forward bring sunglasses that's, that's, a, that's good. a thing yeah we, we're <laughs> you always didn't have that last year so. this is like this is not uh acceptable we always need sunglasses. Yeah, I mean, it was after COVID, so everyone were like, you know, not hungover yeah. for the first time in this panel ever because we were. That is true. Adults, because we usually do it the first panel or the first uh, um, talk, right? First uh, session at the day after the big Nordic game party. <laughs> yes, that is my punishment to you. <laughs> so but everyone um, enjoys it because it's music then, right? They don't need to really, they can just enjoy and start no, the day off with enjoyment. To be honest, this is uh, actually one of my favorite sessions and, and one of the few that uh, as program director that I actually um, reserve time to go and, and watch because I enjoy it so much. And as you said, Thor, it is a really good inside look into uh, how you produce mu music to games and how big an impact actually the uh, the soundtrack and the and the and the sounds and the audio has on a on a particular game so yeah. i'm thrilled but is there something that you can reveal something that you can tell our audience about this upcoming uh, session yes. which will happen during ng23 spring because it's a special session right thor you don't know. Oh. You have not been briefed, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, well, uh, I have some information, but uh, no, I haven't been briefed fully, to be honest. Um, other than uh, it will but be. But what uh, are you guys doing? Um, uh, like, and what are you doing during that session? Well, I guess I will be uh, presenting our uh, upcoming Kickstarter. Um, yes. And that's the first and, uh, time in history we wanted to do that for a very long time, Jacob, right? Like to find a game that's literally that wants to release at the exact time when um, Nordic game is happening, where we can have literally no one having also the ability to see the trailer, like a like literal uh, trailer for a game beforehand um, and uh, know also the music and has like all the information because it's already like a Kickstarter campaign released or whatever, like like a beta version or something. So it's like literally then we kick off the release of your game right with you presenting the original. So like first time, like unboxing as uh, social media says nowadays, exactly. right? Like unboxing your, your trailer actually for the first time to the entire world, so to say, because it's done online. I think that is brilliant. Thank you so much for that, uh, Thor the second. I'm, I'm really looking forward to, uh, to seeing uh, your game, obviously, but also the results uh, during the same game, different music. Um, but one last question before we close this down. I have a question for you guys. Um, who will be on the, on the panel? Uh, obviously, all of you, but what about the rest? Because there's more composers on it, right? Yeah, Arnold, we had a good idea there, right? Like, I'm going to moderate it this year and not going to be one of the composers, so to say. Maybe I do, like, a little less in recycling again. But, um, like, I will moderate it. And, uh, Arnold, what do we have in store for the rest of the participants for that panel? Who's joining me. us as well? Um... <laughs> uh, 
why are you asking me? <laughs> <laughs> because we talked yesterday about it. But okay, then I will say it. So it's going to be great because the first time in history of the composer panel, we actually throw for the people outside there the call out for all composers to submit um, that they want to be part of it. And just to like, we will we'll create a form and there will be also a little um, story about that so you know where to submit and you submit your portfolio that you have and like your music and then um there will be a board of experts which uh is like ruled by two gods and one guy from israel um will go through and vote on it and um like give their own vote and then we will do a calculation there with a very complex mathematical system that is developed by jake on the other side uh, of my camera, I don't know why it's reversed. <laughs> but um, then everyone has the chance to become part of that composer panel. And obviously, if you submit, then uh, and you are getting accepted, you also get uh, like a speaker pass. You don't need to pay for uh, your pass, and you can come to Nordic Game and enjoy the entire conference in its complete beauty. And everyone who submits but not gets accepted, at least get an online pass from us for free. So. Yeah, so it's all about, are you a composer? Are you interested in being on the same game, different, pan different panel? <laughs> the same game, different music panel? Then you have the chance. You can find uh, the form in the, in the text uh, on our website. We have a sub page on our conference website, but also part of our newsletter. The, this uh, form, the link to it will be, uh, will be there. So please submit. We want as many composers uh, joining Nordic Game this May. Um, and for you here in the panel, thank you so much for your appearance. You did great. I cannot wait until I see you all in May. So yes. thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> and we are out. See you soon.